Hello and welcome to this 21 day splits challenge. This class is designed to help you work towards your splits. So keep practicing this class for 21 days. Take a picture on day one and take a picture on day 21 so that you can pair where you're at when you first started and where you're at by the end so that you can track your progress. Because sometimes we don't always realize how far we've come. So I promise you, Take photos and you will see just how much progress you've made. When you're ready, find a hands and knees position, tabletop. And then we'll start here to begin. Extend your right leg back, keep the toes on the mat like so. And then just start to rock forwards. And as you rock back, fully extend that right leg. So you get a stretch down the back of the leg. So rocking forward, stretching the wrists, rocking back, creating a little bit of safe sensation down the back of the leg. Keep this going a few times, just a slow warm up. Good. And then stack the shoulders over the wrists, lift the back leg. Start to sweep the leg out to the side. Keep the leg as high as you can. Sweep it all the way forwards and tap the foot. And then bring it all the way back, nice and controlled. We'll go four more times out to the side. Slowly coming forwards, tap the foot. And then back. Three more. Keep your breath steady. Just moving with control, no need to rush. Last one. Good, and then as you tap the foot, heel toe the foot forwards. Bring the foot in between your hands for a low lunge. Then let your knee go forwards past your ankle so your hips start to sink down. And you can interlace the fingers on the front thigh. Gently press the thigh away, lift the chest. And start to deepen your breath. And you're looking to find a sensation in the front of the left thigh here. So that's the area we're targeting now, your hip flexor region. This can be quite an intense pose, so dial up the breath a little bit more. Use your breath to help you uh, manage any discomfort. Good, then bring the fingertips to the mat. Start to straighten your front leg, send the hips back. If this is too much for the hamstring, keep a slight bend in the knee, then flex your front foot. Hold for a few breaths. And we'll begin to move a little bit more dynamically. So as you inhale, re-bend the front knee, come forwards. As you exhale, straighten the front leg, move back. Inhale, shift forwards. Exhale, move back. Two more, inhale through your low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Last one, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Flex the foot and fold towards your front leg. Let your chin relax towards your chest. Breathe steady here. Good. And bring both hands on the inside of your right foot and sweep the leg all the way back, just like we practiced in our warm up, And lower the knee back down. Second side, extend your left leg, keep the toes on the mat to begin, and then you're just rocking forwards, little stretch for the wrists, rocking back, keep the legs straight, so you find that deep stretch through the back of the leg. Keep it going forwards and back. And then stack the wrists on top of the shoulders. 
shoulders on tops of the wrist, should I say. Lift the back leg, and then you're sweeping it out to the side and tapping the foot, and then sweeping all the way back, slow and controlled. Four more times. Keep the leg as high as you can whilst you sweep it forwards, and then sweeping back, slow and controlled. Three more. And as you move into the last one, tap the foot and heel toe the foot in between your hands. Let your front knee go forwards past the ankle so the hips sink down. Then rest your hands on your front thigh. Start to deepen the breath. Let the hips sink down so you should start to feel quite a deep stretch in the front of your right uh, hip area along the right thigh. Breathe deeply, relax your shoulders, let the rest of the body chill out, let the legs do the work here. Good, then bring fingertips down to the mat. Extend your front leg, move back and flex the foot. Half splits, take a few breaths here. Remember, you can bend the front knee if you need to make it more accessible. Good, then re-bend the front knee. Inhale through low lunge. Exhale, move back, half splits. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half splits. Two more, inhale, move forwards. Exhale, move back. Last one, inhale, come forwards. Exhale, shift back. This time, hold and fold over the front leg. Relax your head, relax your neck. Really good. Bring the hands to the inside of your left leg and just like we practice, sweep it all the way back. And lower the knee into your tabletop position. Then tucking the toes, lifting the hips, come up into downward facing dog. And take a few breaths as you pedal out the legs. Then settle into fine stillness. Lift the right leg high. Take a deep breath in. Keep pressing through your left foot, pressing through your mat as you lift the right leg high. One more breath here. As you exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Reach your arms up for high lunge. Inhale. As you exhale, you can relax the hands by your side. Hold onto your hips if you're looking for somewhere to put your hands. Then straighten out the front leg. Then pressing down through your feet for stability, start to fold over the front leg. If you're feeling wobbly, you can use the hands to stabilize you. And just like we practice in our low lunge, as you inhale, you can re-bend the front knee, runner's lunge. And as you exhale, straight in the front leg, move the hips back. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, back. Two more, inhale forwards, exhale back. Last one, inhale forwards, exhale back. Hold it here and flex your front foot. And as you flex the foot, you should begin to feel a little more sensation along the back of the leg. That's what we want here. Let your head and neck relax, let the legs do the work. Good, then re-bend your front knee, lower the back knee down to the mat. And edge your front foot to the right side of the mat so you've got lots of space on the left side. And then come down onto your hands, 
And you can just start by taking a gentle rock side to side in lizard lunge, just creating small movements to begin easing into the pose. If you like, you could add in a little twist to the side, twist to the other side. Good, and then settle in and find stillness. You can stay up on the hands or come down to the forearms, whichever is available. And you can keep the back knee on the mat or if you'd like to make it a little more challenging, lift the back knee. We're holding here for 10 breaths. So start to even out your inhales, even out your exhales. Good. Come back up onto the hands, lift the back knee if it isn't lifted already. And then step back to plank and lift the hips into downward dog. You can pedal out the legs to bring the legs back to life. And then steady your breath as you settle in and find stillness. This time lifting the left leg high. Keep pressing through the floor. Lift the leg a little higher. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, step the left foot in between the hands and reach your arms up. High lunge. Inhale. Exhale. You can bring the hands to the hips and then straighten out the front leg. Keep pressing through your feet so you're creating lots of stability and then fold over the front leg. Again, you can bring the fingertips down to the mat to stabilize you. Then on an inhale, rebend the front knee, runner's lunge. Exhale, straighten the front leg and fold. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, straighten the leg. Two more, inhale, come forwards. Exhale, shift back. Last one, inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, straighten the front leg. This time, flex the foot and hold it here. You can keep a slight bend in the front knee if it makes it more accessible. And then just focus on breathing through any discomfort. Good, re-bend the front knee, lower the back knee down. Then edge your left foot to the left side, bring both hands on the inside of the leg. And we'll just begin with those side to side movements, just giving your body time to ease into position so we're not forcing anything, we're working progressively. You can add in a little twist to the side if you like. And then settle into your lizard so you can stay up on the hands, come down to the forearms. Maybe you lift the back knee if you'd like to challenge yourself. Settle in 10 breaths here. And coming back up onto your hands, step back to plank and lift the hips into downward facing dog. Paddle out the legs a few times, move in any way that feels good. 
and step your feet together. Lift the right leg high, this time opening out the hip. Continue to lift the leg as high as you can. So you're using the strength in that leg. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, step your foot forwards, lower the back knee down. This time, keep the front knee on top of the ankle. And you can rest the hands on the front thigh for support. If you have sensitive knees, I recommend placing something underneath the back knee to cushion it. And then slowly lift your back foot. And we'll take a few breaths here without using the hands. You're using your strength to come into this place because splits do not just require flexibility. They also require a lot of strength so that the muscles feel supported, so that they can uh, relax in position so the body doesn't feel like it's under threat. So keep holding here, just a few more breaths. If at any time your leg is starting to cramp, just lower the foot down. Really good. Okay, reach back with the left hand to take a hold of the foot. Start to draw the foot in close to the back of your glutes. If the balance is there, reach the right hand back also. And we just hold it here. And we're looking to find quite a deep stretching sensation in the front of your left thigh through your quadriceps. Hold it here a few breaths, roll your shoulders back, keep your chest open. Wonderful, then release the hold of the foot. Don't let it ping back. Let the foot lower with control. Lower your fingertips down to the mat and then straighten your front leg. So you may want to edge it further forwards if you have quite long legs and flex the foot here. And we'll work through this progressively. So we'll take five breaths here to begin. Keep the front foot flexed, spread your toes wide. You should start to feel more sensation in the back of the leg when you do that. Good, then tucking the back toes, lift your back knee. I just want you to hold it here like so. So we're strengthening your legs as well as stretching them. Super important to work both strength and flexibility. Okay, now this may be as far as you go. If that's the case, lower the knee, take a little break and then lift the knee again to challenge yourself. If you're feeling like you can go further, start to edge the back knee down to the mat. Go maybe halfway, so both knees are still lifted. The hips are still hovering off the mat. Take five breaths here. You may need to readjust where the hands are. And again, this may be as far as you go. If you feel that you can go further, continue edging back foot down, down, down. And maybe you start to lower the hips down. Go to wherever feels accessible, so you're not forcing anything. Let your body decide. And wherever you find yourself, take five breaths. If you're coming into the full split, keep your front foot flexed so the leg is active. Good. And then to come out, you're just edging your back foot in. A little bit, use your hands to lift yourself up. Then re-bend the back knee, lower it down. Walk your hands forwards, re-bend the front knee and come all the way back into downward facing dog. Now one side may feel very different now and that's okay, let's balance you out. So step the feet together, lift your left leg high, open out the hip. Think of lifting the leg with your strength, reaching up towards the sky. Hold for an inhale. As you exhale, step the foot in between the hands, lower the back knee down. Keep the knee stacked on top of the ankle this time and bring your hands to your front thigh. And again, pad the knee if you need to. 
And with your strength, lift the back foot and hold it here. Keep the gaze focused on one spot to help with the balance. Let your shoulders and neck relax so the legs do the work here. Good. And right hand reaches back, take a hold of the foot, start to draw the foot in close to the back of your glutes. If the balance is there, left hand can reach back also. And you're just holding it here. Continue to breathe deeply. That is the key here, learning to be able to breathe through discomfort. Amazing, release the hold of the foot. Don't let it ping back, let it lower with your control. Good, and then bring the fingertips down to the mat. Edge your front foot forwards and straighten the leg. Flex the foot. We'll take five breaths here to begin. It's very normal that one side is a little bit more open than the other. We tend to focus more on the side that we can do things and less on the side that we can't do things. So this challenge is really about making sure that you practice equal amounts on both sides so your body is balanced. Okay, then tuck your back toes, lift the knee. And I want you to press the front heel into the ground, the back toes into the ground. So you're really strengthening your legs, providing support. Hold it steady. If you're staying here, lower the back knee, give yourself a break, and then come back to this position. If you're moving further, then edge the back foot down the mat, maybe just a couple centimeters so you can lower the hips a little more. Take a few breaths here, so you work a little bit at a time. There's no need to hurry. Again, if you're staying here, lower the back knee, take a little break then lift the back knee and come back here. If you're working further, continue edging the back toes down the mat. Maybe you start to lower the back knee down. Maybe you come into the full splits. Depending on where you're at, keep the front foot flexed. So front foot is active. Take five breaths here. Good. Use your hands to lift yourself up. Edge that back foot in closer to you so that you can lower the knee. Rebend the front knee. Step it back to plank. And lift the hips into downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs. Shimmy your hips side to side. Take any movements that feel good. And look in between your hands, walk your feet forwards, come into a forward fold. You can keep a slight bend in the knees here, or if your hamstrings are feeling a little more open, straighten the legs. And then you can either reach to take a hold of elbows or backs of ankles. Wherever works for you, relax your chin to your chest. Deepen your breath. Wonderful. And very slowly round the back, roll yourself all the way up to stand. And then you can just pedal out the legs here. <laughs> just a little static walk. Maybe shake out the legs also if they need it, depending on how extreme that felt for you. Hmm. And then come and sit down when you're ready. Ooh. 
and you can extend the legs in front of you. Maybe just give them a little wiggle, maybe give them a little massage, depending on what they need, if they need some more love. And finding a comfortable seat, rest the hands on your knees, sit up nice and tall and soften the eyes closed. Before we end this class, take a moment to recognize your hard work, to recognize the fact that you showed up, regardless of what happened when you were on the mat. You took the step to actually roll out your mat, commit yourself to this challenge and show up. The rest doesn't matter. When things get hard, when things get challenging, and you start to feel disheartened, just remember that you showed up. The rest is unimportant. Take a moment to say an internal thank you to yourself. Continue to breathe deeply as you soak in that thanks. And bring hands to prayer at heart center, bow your head. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through the splits. If this is day one for you, then keep coming back for the next 20 days so that you can see just how far you can take it because with anything, whether it's yoga or any kind of new movement that we're learning, we really do need to be consistent if we want to see progress. So commit yourself to this challenge and I promise you, you will experience and see such a transformation. Take care and I'll see you next time.